Hello there. Anybody else thought about these uh, people that like are really upset about climate change? And I get it, yeah, blah, 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 we're destroying the planet, whatever. But how they're trying to protest this shit is like by gluing themselves to paintings or going into a museum and throwing cans of soup at something, at a painting or artwork or coming in with cans of paint to throw at shit. People, uh, one of the things they like to try to do is try to glue themselves to it. Like they like to like get take out the hand like this big. Okay, I'm gonna glue myself to this. And try to destroy walks of art. You know. Like, I think it was in Germany that there was, um, Andy Warhol had painted a bunch of cars, right? And so these people threw a bunch of flour all over it. Like flour for baking, you know? They threw it all over it. And then proceeded to glue themselves to the floor. All while screaming about how we need to fix the climate change problem and all this. And here's something that none of them seem to understand. Nobody's thinking about the climate change when you're doing this. So it's like, oh, look at these crazy people trying to destroy priceless walks of art. Stop trying to destroy priceless walks of art, you idiots. I mean, come on. Like... Maybe try to be rational about the shit. It's fucking stupid. I can't understand it. I personally don't give a shit about the climate change, all that crap. I don't give no fuck about the environment. Well, it's not like I live here. <laughs> No, yeah, agreed. We should stop polluting the planet and all that. But honestly, I don't care, really. I mean, I'm still hoping an asteroid slams into Earth soon. Like, that would be cool. Like, if I got a nice head notice, like, you know, like, in 12 hours, you know, the Earth is going to be destroyed by an asteroid. I'd be like, oh, shit. It's time to go steal a bunch of beer and cigarettes. Woo, because fuck it, the world's ended. So then I would be finally become a thief like everyone thought I was. Because I've never stolen shit, but hey, you know, that's what other people think, but I don't give a shit. So yeah, I don't really care about the environment. I don't care about the latest celebrity news or gossip. I have a Facebook page. That's about it. Like, I don't have a Twitter or an Instagram or TikTok. I don't have any of that shit. I highly doubt that my MySpace page is still there 15 years later. Huh. I highly doubt it. Wouldn't that be something if that page is still floating around? Like, I don't even know my login shit to Facebook anymore. Because now, you know, everything's on an app. You just hit the button and go right there. I can't remember what the password is or anything like that. But no. Get back to it as people destroying priceless works of art. Or trying to. They're usually pretty unsuccessful. But. Just the fact that they're trying so hard. Just to have people talk about climate change. But whenever you hear about this. They mention that. Oh the, the activists about climate change. And here's all the crazy stupid shit they're doing. That's not helping anything at all. Man, I wish I had some fucking bill right now. That'd be nice. Some real cigarettes.
I got a couple rolling papers left. Things are about to get dicey. Man. Ugh. I hate Earth. And most of the people on it. There are some people I like. Most of them are dog shit, though. Unfriended this one chick a couple days ago. I was mean to when I was drunk, like, a couple weeks back, maybe three weeks back. I can't really remember. And she sent some messages, and after that, and I didn't even really bother to read them. I still haven't read them. I just, like, browsed a couple of awards, and it was like, okay, whatever. Don't care to read the shit. So then a couple days ago, I just was scrolling through Facebook, bored as hell, and saw a post of and I was like, why the hell is he still on my friends list? I don't even... She's dumb. So little titties to everybody. I don't really need her, though. So just, she keeps getting back with the same guy over and over again. They break up, he cheats on her, all this, and, and she like, breaks up, they break up, or usually it's he breaks up with her, and she gets all sad and depressed and everything is terrible and I need someone to talk to, I'm oh, so sad. And then she gets back with the dude, and so I see this shit and I'm just like, Whatever. Like, I'm... I'm done. Thanks for showing me your titties. That was cool. I never asked to see them. She just sent pictures of them one time, and I was like, Cool. Neat. <laughs> Thanks, you've warmed my old heart. Sewing me your titties. But she does that with like everyone, like hold her boyfriend break up and she's like, I'm sad and you be nice to her, talk to her about it and then she's like, You want my tits? It's like <laughs> Neat But I hate life so much. Mm. Doesn't help when you got people that try to glue themselves to the Mona Lisa or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that's my two cents about it. Oh yeah, and uh, humans suck. They do. All of them. Well, most of them. I know a few good people. Most of the best ones will no longer even near where I am anymore. They're like scattered to the wind far away. Hmm, sounded like a gunshot. Neat. Maybe something died. That would be cool. But I'm just gonna wait for that damn asteroid to hit. Cross my fingers. But as I try to always say, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, have a great day or night. Peace out.